Last time on Survivor, Austin was left all alone after losing Travis. Tough one, it's tough one, we'll be back. So Haley tried to bring him in as an extra vote. I do want to keep working with you in the future. The paranoia between Beauty and Braun began to grow. You think we're gonna break the alliance? Well... After four days of searching, Forrest found an idol without a clue. This is turning out to be a really good day for me. At the trivia challenge, Leandra, Sam, and Haley outed themselves as threats. Kageyan, Haley is correct. Although Laura and Forrest planned on a runner's final three with Leandra, they noticed that Leandra, Sam, and Blake seemed too close for comfort. Leandra has been hanging out a lot with the beauties. Laura created a fake final three with Austin, Lucas, and Forrest, subverting Haley's work and guaranteeing Austin's vote. I heard, I heard my name come up in a final three. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll hear this out. Although Anne Marie tried to rope in Lillian, Laura's social game made Lillian more comfortable with voting Haley. Yeah. Good. Good. That's yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I've like talked to Laura more. At Tribal, Laura's moves outplayed the beauty girls and Anne Marie was left all alone and vulnerable on a mo. Eleven are left. Who will be voted out tonight? <sighs> I really didn't see that coming because I didn't honestly think that Austin was gonna go back and vote with Laura after she was the one that was responsible for getting out Travis. Um, yeah, if there's one thing I learned from last time, like, I will never ever feel confident walking into a vote again. Just put your hand down. Put your hand down. Every time it could be you. Um, so yeah, Haley messaged me and she's upset. Well, she messaged everyone, all the beauties, and she's like, I'm out of the game, guys. Like, it's been fun, it's been real, and, and I'm like, like, my eyes are scoot. I'm gonna, my eyes, my target, scooting over towards Laura. Uh, I'm like going this way and then heading for engineering. Right, that's tough. I can see her. I know her game. <sighs> Here's the thing. Laura thinks she's the queen bee. She thinks she's queen L, like I like to call her. She's our queen Laura. But she ain't running this show. She ain't running jack shit. Yeah, she got through this vote and she definitely controlled that. And we were definitely on the outs of that vote. Us beauties were probably the only people that didn't know that this Haley vote was coming, but that defeats the purpose. Like, Laura is a snake in the grass. She is Queen Elm. Um, and I have made it my mission to go against you, Laura. I do not want you to win. I think you are a snake. I think you're annoying. I think you're not as good of a player as you think you are, honestly, because you're like a knockoff Ray, honestly, and you saw what happened to her, so. Anyways, Laura, all I could say is this. Laura, I'm coming for you, hunty. You best believe it. You best believe it. Your ass will not be sitting there at Final Tribal Council. Also, all of the beauties hate you, lol. You are, quote, the biggest snake in this game, and they want to get rid of you immediately. <laughs> so, that was Sam talking to Forrest. Which is terrible, because Sam is the one of the biggest freaking threat in this game, and he's just trying, he's just mad at me, because I successfully lied to him last round, and made him think I was, like, clueless and stuff, and then got one of his allies out. So now he's pissed at me, and making me the scapegoat here. When he's the biggest threat in this game, he probably has a freaking idol too. We were texting back and forth when I thought I was in alliance with him, and Sam literally called Leandra a wet noodle and said that is why he kept her instead of Ray because he'd be able to manipulate them. Manipulate Leandra a lot better than he would Ray. And so. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, Laura was the one that chose, like she was one of the ones that chose the tribes and it, purpose, it, like, it perfectly happened so it was like four, four, and three, and three. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin, Blake, Sam, and I met up um, and kind of just talked about where our heads at. We met up. I didn't tell him how like, close I am with Austin, but I said like, oh, I like, feel good about him and like he might be able to be on our side. So he was like, we need to meet up with him and Anne-Marie when we found out that it was an emerge. It's so, like that was part of the plan that like we all agreed to before. But basically from that point on, like Laura was like running the entire show of that alliance. If that makes sense. He was kind of pitting everything on Laura and he is saying that Laura is this evil mastermind and we kind of talked about if the three of them and then the two austin and i and then possibly michael um come together as six we can take out um the remaining bronze and lillian um if she is as much in laura's pocket as people think that she is uh, and obviously laura was behind the vote last week and i think it was partially because she can see that like she's nervous about the fact that there are four beauties and four brawn that were still left at that point and i think that she obviously wanted to like jump on it and do that but like the real thing is is that like the brawn people are obviously working more together than it seems like anybody else is sam and i decided that we're not going to make it that big of a deal because we don't want everyone to know that we've been working with Haley and Amory. we've been trying to distance ourselves in the eyes of everyone else from the two of them from the beginning because we don't want to look like a strong force. And now it's four of brawn and brain and there's not three beauties. So I'm in the minority right now if you want to look at original tribe um, alliances. It was almost in a way kind of beneficial and the more that I've been able to work it and play it now. It's obvious now that Sam, Anne-Marie, and I are all more vulnerable and it's more obvious that the brawn are a type no one will vote for there is, Lillian or There is no doubt. Like, Laura still scares me to death. Like, I am yeah, not. She scares all of us. She's the scariest She's player very, in she this She is game. the scariest right now. She has, yeah. all, she has the potential to win. All three She's of them got every, Yeah. She She's has got all everything three lined up. And if, like, something doesn't happen soon, like, she has a very clear path to the end. Like, she does. She's yeah. already got it's, like, everything in line. The thing is, like is that she step. thought that we were merging this week as well. Yeah. And so, that's a huge thing. Now they've struck first and they're exposed in this round. Yeah. I trusted Lucas more than any of the other people in my tribe. Um, so him actually making an individual effort to meet with me was a really good sign, and that's like that's what solidified it for me. I think. Like I know Laura's a game player, and like she's scary for a lot of people in this game. But I wasn't ready to get I was not ready to get rid of Laura yet. In part because I think I'm still part of her plans. Um, and if I can be part of her plans, like I'm willing to stay around. We were just talking about. And how she has control over everything. Yeah, yeah. Lillian told me that she like. I mean, Austin was there when I was asking her, and she was like, "Oh, like, I was just like, I just like didn't know what to do." I thought I really bonded with Lillian. We made cookies together. I showed her my pet salamander. I thought we really had a thing going, but Lillian's gonna vote with her heart, and apparently her heart says Laura is the one for her, which. Bad decision, Lillian. Laura is sneaky. Sneaky, 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 so stay away. Do you think she's just like kind of playing dumb? I'm uh, sorry, like uh, I know that Lillian no. doesn't seem like she's playing the game that hard, but like, yeah. what, like I, I don't think she's playing dumb. Like, I, I think, think she's, she's genuinely kind of playing I think she's genuinely playing this game to like meet people okay. and like not as much interest in the worst game to meet. I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely don't know how I don't think she's interested in the strategy part of it. Yeah. At, at, all. at that time I've been kind of like playing off of the fact that I was like, oh, I don't know anything about Survivor, so I'm willing to let you decide for me. To hopefully make myself seem like a very solid, like, I don't know if anything on for her, so that maybe she would be less inclined to vote for me. Because I thought that might have happened, might have had a chance of happening too. And I know Laura's and been meeting with her a lot. But the lot. fact that Laura has her so tight, like it's, she's not gonna break that. Well, she found a friend with Laura, Laura. she's not gonna break she that. She wasn't meeting with anyone, but we know like she's been yeah, meeting with Laura. Yeah, she told me that she met no, with Laura. She, like, she, had, she was very open that she's been talking to Laura. Like she told me like, I trust Laura more than anyone else in this game. I don't trust any one specific person the most. I'd say definitely right now, like I said, Laura, Lucas, and Austin, maybe Austin more than the others. I feel like we've really come back from our uh, first travel council, um, which is good. Like, I don't know why Anne-Marie is doing this, but she's like, 
trying to pretend like we're not friends at all and we haven't spoken like at all. We've, like we well, still talk sometimes in college and like see each other once in a while, but I don't know, like when we were walking to the meeting, um, so we like Snapchatted each other over spring break, so she knew like I went to Europe, and then like as we were walking, she's like, so what'd you do for spring break? I was like, oh, you know, you saw my Snapchat. And then she's like, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, really? Well, I guess it makes sense after yeah. what happened with me and Ray, yeah. like people True. were. When we talk, we give each other information that's going to be useful for ourselves, but we don't share that information. Or at least that's the agreement that I'm doing for my side and that I've told her that I'm doing. Like previously, she told me that um, the rest of Braun is suspicious of Laura and might be willing to break off from Laura after the merge. And this could be something that's really useful for my tribe to know and I've tried to imply it to my tribe that we might be able to break Braun up but um, I'm not telling them explicitly anything that Ellen's telling me. Boris can't be okay with Laura doing all of the strategizing, right? Because no. he yeah. came into this game to play, so he's gotta be kind of frustrated, yeah. at least. Okay, um, when you meet with Boris, yeah. try to do your best to see between Sam and I who they're leaning towards. Okay, yeah. Because I think that that would be really good information to have. Yeah. yeah. Blake said, oh yeah, like, if you talk to them, maybe see, like, who they're targeting between um, Sam or I, because that would be important information to have. And Austin and I, after that, were both kind of like, huh, like, that would probably be important information to have if one of you has the idol and you want to play it. So, yesterday I ran into Anne Marie. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> and, as you all know, she's very fearful that she's going home, especially if your team loses the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, so, she told me that uh, Sam, Blake, and um, Leandra are in a pretty tight alliance mm -hmm. and that they're all going to try and throw the challenge today. And then she asked me to help them throw the challenge and not tell you guys about this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're being yeah. great at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm really Damn. not supposed to be telling you guys. Do you guys think with this next challenge, should we even throw it? I don't know. What do you guys? Do you guys throw it? Yeah. No. If, no. I, 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 don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm really worried about if we, we have the numbers or not to get. Well, like, I don't, I don't know what we would do. We but here's the it. thought. Here's no, the thought. We, we throw, throw it. it. Our tribe, we throw not it so you that you guys. Oh. You guys are going to throw it. And we would. Sorry. It's got it backwards. You're like, heck no. Oh, yeah, like, no. That is not what I want. You guys are at like a really bad spot with numbers. Yeah. I think that at the same time, like being able to throw it, that's why I'm really curious about Michael and that's why it's scary. But yeah, like, because if, I don't feel like, I feel like 80% on Michael, but still like, I don't. Yeah, no, I completely get that. The thing is that like, if you guys lose, then you're probably getting voted out and then we're going into a merge with 10 and they have Williams, they have five, they at least have half. Like, we couldn't even move forward. We couldn't one. even and then move Michael's forward. Still unknown. Yeah. Like, I would go to Rocks at that point, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, that's that's way too because, much of a risk to do that. I mean, but that's the thing. Like, if that does happen, like, I'm going to Rocks because yeah. either. Because one of, otherwise, one of you guys would be gone early. Over yeah, we'd be picked off anyway. And if, if the rock draw goes our way, we have top five. If it doesn't, we lose. But we're already losing anyway. We're, so, yeah, yeah. we're already in the minority <laughs> right now. Isn't so, it? like, we really, really, really probably should try to lose this one. How do you feel about that? I know. I know. I know. I know. Coming in, guys. I'm all right here. I'm all right here. All right, first things first, I will take back immunity. Thank you. Are you guys ready for the next mission challenge? So, just a quick summary. There will be two wheelbarrowers going up the hills, and then after both pairs um, get up the hills, we will have one person dribbling a soccer ball through the column over here, and then back this way. And then after that, um, we will be doing cornhole at the end, and the first person to get three cornhole um, wins, wins immunity for their tribe, and they will, and they will be safe. Everybody good? Okay, let's start off at the bottom. All right, survivors ready? We've got Anne-Marie and Lillian, and Forrest and Leandra as the first two pairs. Survivors ready? Go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Pretty even so far. Emery and Lillian have a small lead. Leander is having trouble with Taylor. Nice job. Really big lead. All right, Amo, go, go. Woo! Good guys. Leander is still getting up the side of the hill. Sam, go, Lord, come on, Austin. Go. Well, the challenge went well for us. Michael had some legitimate points of complaint. Uh, I mean, it's only a second or two difference when we're running in the, the, you know, the heat of the moment, but it, a couple seconds did end up making a difference in that challenge. That being said, uh, I was thinking the same things, but I would have brought that up to you beforehand as opposed to after the fact, you know, after the challenge is already done and decided and so I feel like his comments were too little too late. It was not perceived well, I don't think. Um, but like Forrest and Ellen, I definitely were like whispering to each other um, after like to just like let it go because like we lost and it's fine, um, which is true. Like we couldn't really change anything about it. But like I understood where Michael was coming from, where it was frustrating because we did lose by such a small margin. But I feel like it definitely rubbed people the wrong way. And from what I've been hearing, like. Michael like has been rubbing people the wrong way in general so I mean I don't think it I th I like him but I think for other people it just confirmed uh, like how they felt about him
like I like him sort of sometimes when he doesn't blow up at her challenges, but he's also just like no, I think he's funny, but like it's just hard to like work with him. Work. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. It's hard just because he's on like a different wavelength. Yeah. Like, I don't know what planet he's on sometimes. Happens uh, both Leandra. I've been with Leandra the whole time, you know, on her side since you know we had a pretty tight uh, dynamic after being on the brain team together. But uh, both Forrest, Ellen, their group contacted me. They had, they texted me, uh, and so did Blake and Sam texted me. So I was just, they asked me to you know side with them. Each each team, each uh, I guess you could say sub team from the old part of the before the merge had reached out to me to try and get me to stand with them for this this tribal, but uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So yesterday, Anne-Marie and I, we got dinner, and um, she kind of basically revealed to me her entire long-term strategy. Um, she said that she wants to take me to the final, which I'm, uh, I don't know if I believe her or not, because she kept talking about how, oh, Ellen, you're my longest, you're my oldest friend. Of course, you have to trust me. Um, you have to make sure that, you know, you help them throw the challenge tomorrow. She asked me to throw the challenge, by the way. You know, I'm pretty worried about my allies. I'm very worried about Ellen, this tribal. I'm pretty concerned about what my own tribe is doing over on the other tribe, what my alliance with the rest of the beauties, Sam and Blake, are doing over on the other tribe. She talked about how she thinks um, I'm going to be safe even if my team loses uh, because she basically said I was just a pawn in the game and um, because I'm just kind of doing what people in charge told me to do, but she said that was a good thing until I get to the final, and then it's a bad thing, because people think I'm not really trying or strategizing or deserve to win the game, so that's definitely worrisome. I'm definitely in this game to win it, so I have to really think about the way people are perceiving me, and um, maybe try and reach out to more people and make more connections. Because right now, Forrest has been having all the meetings and I've kind of been going along with all his plans. But um, I think maybe I might need to start having meetings of my own. Yeah. So, you know how they were like, Forrest has the idol. Yeah. Funny thing is, <laughs> that actually Really? Yeah. Where did you go? I lucked into it. I have a picture of my phone. It was not 30 yards from where club running used for practice. Dang. So, this is where we meet for practice. Uh huh. This is the base of that tree. Interesting. So, we have this. I have been hiding it from you all just because the fewer people would know the better. Yeah. If, if, if nobody plays an idol, I'm playing one. So, um, cause I, I don't feel safe right now and nothing anybody can do can make me feel safe right now. The problem is it's gonna make me, probably gonna be number one. And I just gotta trust that Laura and Lucas and Ellen have my back. No. Laura is my partner in crime. Um, she is my anything devious. I talked to her about it. And then Ellen, um, she got my back, I got hers, as far as we're concerned. Forrest and I have a really strong alliance going and we're trying to, I know Forrest has been talking to Michael and he also talked to Leander today. I feel like everybody kind of trusts me out of all of the bronze. Okay. At least to some degree. Yeah. Um, like Lucas definitely does. He's, he said, like, I trust you more than anyone in this game. Oh, God. <laughs> I met up with Forrest because he texted me and he wanted to explain what had been going on behind the scenes for the last few votes. So I met up with him and he explained the Operation Brain Freeze, but he put it all on the beauties. The beauties reached out to them to form the Eight Person Alliance and called it Operation Brain Freeze, blah, blah, blah. The beauties have told the opposite stories that the bronze reached out to them. So I don't really know who to believe, but um, at least they're turning on each other. Yeah. So we're, we should be good, yeah. I think, at least for our first couple votes, and then we can try and um, figure out a crack, whether it be Lucas or yeah. Laura. Yeah. I mean, if it needs to be Ellen, it can be Ellen. Yeah. As long as it's not me, I don't yeah. really care. <laughs>
he wants to split the votes on Blake and Sam and potentially vote Sam out because um, Sam uh, is a big target. But that's kind of where I'm at too. So I feel like we're like very similar in like what our like end goal is to just like keep it off of us. <laughs> no, so you're so still like Forrest told a huge me part of that. that Sam texted Laura at the beginning of this game uh because they know each other since like first year or something or they oh. live in the same first year dorm i like to have like a secret pre-game alliance or something so i told sam oh that my. see so this is why sam scares me to death <laughs> no but then i told sam that to like make him and then he was like oh my gosh like that never happened like laura's just saying stuff blah 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 but just to like fuel his hate for her more like if that is true like which it might be you know mm -hmm. um now that he knows that like Laura is saying all that stuff, then like he just trusts her no more. So I was like, I'm trying to just like fuel the flame. Yeah. I, so I met up with her like, before that part, some challenge and everything, that's when she told me everything. Mm -hmm. Because I do know her from first year and like we were friends for a little bit, but then I like didn't really like her anymore. And so I was kind of bummed to see her in this game. Cause yeah. I was like, oh, if I don't trust this girl at all. I know she's going to be super competitive and she's athletic and she's smart. Yeah. But, and this is exactly how I thought figured she was gonna be. Like, I know she's good at like, she's not even like that sociable. I feel like, like not, like that's just my read on her. Yeah, but yeah. for some reason, she's like really good at playing games. Like, yeah. I, like I don't know what it is about her. And she's really good at like getting her life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, uh, I just don't want her to. Be. I mean, I feel like I'm like public enemy number one to her. So no, I think like, I one. That's true. Definitely want that. I think it might even be helpful for them to think like, oh, they, the two of them have Michael, the yeah. Bronze have Lillian, and we're still just two people. Yeah, exactly. Because then that takes away that big four mentality, which we don't want, because I think that would make, yeah. that'd probably be one of us a target on Yeah, marriage. no, I've like made it clear to them that I don't really have like a relationship with Lillian. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I told like Sam that last night. He was like, "That's so funny that like you guys like don't really talk at all and stuff like that." But like we actually don't. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's almost like it sounds like we're lying. Yeah, but, but like we're really not. It's like we actually don't talk. Trust yeah, us. Yeah, like I really don't foresee like a four coming back together. And basically, uh, when Ray got voted out, I've been trying to ingratiate myself back into the tribe. Like we kind of bonded over. We both listen to podcasts. We're both like, I think we're on, like the same level of fandom, I guess. Um, so. We kind of like bonded over that and how we need to protect each other um, and like the plague as well. So like we created a group me with us three um, and called it Super Fan Alliance. Uh, I don't really know what the lines yet, but we'll see. Okay, can I just start out by saying this? Yes. I don't see how Michael is smart enough to come up with the idea of the split vote on his own. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was airing it out there. I genuinely. At first when he said it, I was like, you know, he might be right. Right? Like, yeah. it's, it's... But then it's like, how did he even come up with it? Yes. Yeah. Because the only shot, if, if Forrest doesn't have the idol, if Michael doesn't have the idol, the only shot that Forrest and Ellen have at this point is to convince, somehow get us to split the votes. Yeah. And then, I don't think Michael's double, like, double crossing, because I really don't. Yeah. But it's my neck that's on the line right now. Yeah, I know. Because of this potential, yeah. if they voted three and we had only gotten two stack against it, it would be over. It would be a three, two, one vote, yeah. and that'd be gone. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a split vote where uh, Sam had been telling me if it, according to past uh, Survivor seasons on other places, if that happens usually, they'll have the people who didn't get any votes do a re-vote. So hopefully we're we're banking on that. I didn't want to. Like do a split vote. I was telling him I'd much rather just like put all votes on one person. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I agree. How do we convince Michael of that? We don't. So do you do three, two, one. Yeah. Do you think so? He's gonna piss. Them. He'll be pissed. Unless one of us can feign ignorance and just be like, oh, I thought I was going to do this. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's, what, like, that's what he did the first on the Ray vote. Yeah. He like messed up his vote, and yeah. so you could just mess up your vote or something, because we're the ones that are supposed to vote for Ellen, I think, and his split vote plan. Yeah, yeah. I could just be like, oh, like, I thought I was supposed to vote for a girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah, work. Mm -hmm. So you guys really think that it's best to vote for Ellen? No. I mean, I don't, like, don't really care like too much either way, but I just feel like it's just like a safer bet in the long run. I don't know. You were right in saying that, like, I think we can do it. 
that it, it is a little sketch that he's trying to keep forced and yeah. get rid of Ellen. That's why I'm like Sam is like a smart player. Like, I don't, I don't think he's super paranoid either. He's not. Um, he's pretty like. Well, the reason why he's not paranoid is because the androids basically told the both of us they're targeting me. They're, I'm gonna get votes. This yeah. trouble. It's, it's a given. I'm going to get votes. But I mean, in general, Sam's not. Sam's like a pretty like chill guy. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be stirring up this suspicion about Flores that he has an idol. Mm -hmm. um, for I think it's I'm like 95 percent sure Flores is an idol. Yeah. And I think it's kind of silly of Sam to like be so sure that Forrest is an idol that we can't vote him off. Right. And you know Forrest is the exact, exact kind of person that Sam wants to work with. Yeah, oh yeah, 100% because he's a meat shield. He's literally yeah. going to take hits and Sam just high time. Come on in, guys. I want Forrest gone this trial. I want him out, but I'm tired of being around. I worked with him while we had to, but now the sight or the thought of Forrest and Alan disgusts me because I know that they had to get him. Mafua, welcome to Tribal Council. Blake, um, so with the vote, last round, Haley was voted out from the last tribal. Um, do you feel like it could be a beauty again? So, in my personal opinion, <laughs> poor Haley, she's like a martyr at this point. She, uh, she kind of marks the point where the game definitely starts to change. Haley was a surprise vote to me, personally. I didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Um, and that, that that was big. The moment that I found out, it was uh, the point in the game where I think that it's really gonna start, really gonna start happening. And, and it sucks for her to have to be the martyr, but I hope at least like her being voted out makes a huge difference in the course of this game. Ellen, he, uh, Blake says that Haley was a martyr, that the game is going to start to change. What do you feel like he means by that? Um, well, I can definitely already start to feel the game changing. I think people are strategizing a lot more. I think there's a lot more um, alliance forming, alliances forming, and I'm definitely a lot more uneasy than I ever was before. Um, so I just think that the game is going to get so much more complex. Leandra, would you agree with that? The alliances, different alliances are forming. Would you say tribal lines are also disappearing? Yeah, for sure. I feel like um, it's less becoming of a brains, broad and duties and more of uh, every person for themselves. Like we've been on the swap tribe for a while now, so new relationships are forming that um, are cross tribal. It's pretty obvious at this point that the alliance that the Bra or the Braun and the BD people had originally going into the swap is completely dissolved. That's not a thing anymore because their original Braun. You guys turned on us as well. How did we turn on you guys? You uh, guys fired you the first shot. Yeah, you voted for Laura. We only Laura. voted for Haley. Because we, didn't we, we, the important thing is, is we, you guys are on this track. Okay, I didn't know about that vote before it happened, so. Well, neither did we, and we, I think they only changed their vote because Lillian told everyone that Laura was targeting Haley. Because Laura was going after Haley, and the funny thing is, is that you guys tried to act like you had an alliance with us, with the BD people going into this swap. The funny thing is, is that you guys were the one to initiate that eight person alliance versus the six brain. We went along with it because we're trying to keep ourselves together. And the funny thing is too, is that you guys are still tight with one another. And you guys were definitely scheming and planning from the moment we got back from spring break. And after that discussion, Haley went home. Okay, that's so just So how ridiculous. can I not plan Stop that out? Stop painting Here. Haley as a martyr. Like, she is a martyr. You guys just hated Laura, so everyone was like, oh, Here's let's just get rid of her. How can you not hate Laura? How can you not hate her? <laughs> she has good and bad qualities, okay? <laughs> You definitely know it's better than definitely you don't. You know? And really the whole Haley vote came about because we kind of stopped trusting you guys. Everything kind of like, made our alliance so strong in the beginning of the swap. The communication back and forth, the openness, it all kind of dissolved. And that might have been, it very well might have been started on our end, but it, it all was dissolving and we didn't feel safe anymore. Alright, any, any last words? 
I mean, I could keep going on about this. <laughs> I still have a lot. I mean, I still have a lot of things that I thought about. I could keep going on for a while about this. Right. Can I go a little bit further? Actually, <laughs> I actually do have a few things I thought about. <laughs> it's just interesting to me where we all stand in this. It's pretty obvious that since there's been no communication between Sam and I, well, apparently there's been communication between Forrest and Ellen with Sam. I haven't been completely out of it. Um, but through my eyes, it seems as though there's beauty on one side, there's brawn on one side, and then there's brain in the middle. And the fact of the matter is, is that they've even said it too. The tribal alliances from the original start of the game have started to dissolve. I'm using these terms as a way to describe these groups because we still are using these to describe these groups. But the fact of the matter is, is that we're going into a merge. And the thing is, is that Sam and I have lost our other beauty alliance, which is funny because we have not even really talked to them. We have not been working with them, but the brawn people have all been working together. It's a solid tight four that are still going to work together. We are down on the numbers. And the interesting thing is, is that the brain people, for example, Lillian, is going to work with the brawn people when they voted out Haley. And she's gonna end up being number five if they made it to the final four. Like, no one's gonna breach that original alliance. They're a tight four. None of us have that. So it doesn't make any sense to want to work with somebody like that. It doesn't make sense to work with a group like that. Well, I think that going into the merge now, um, everyone's starting to think long term. Long Absolutely. Forward, so That's why I said final four, have to final start five. Thinking about you know, I don't know, <coughs> so maybe a jury would want to go for it. Hey, here's the thing too, though. You know, you see, from maybe from the outside, it does seem like we're a solid four, but that's because we trust each other enough from the early parts of the game. I'm fully on board that Laura is dangerous. And that's the thing is, we are gonna need to get rid of her down the line. The thing is, I trust her more than people that I have known for less, less time. So basically what Forrest is saying is that Leandra, Michael, Sam, he trusts you less than he does Laura. The person right that Laura just turned on, saying that she would still not vote for Haley and has worked with us since the beginning, he still trusts her, despite the fact that she just cut someone in that alliance. Okay, well here's the thing, you can only trust people based on their actions, and you guys definitely betrayed us. How did we betray you? You guys- votes on Laura. You're... I think you're just mad okay, you got, you got, I think, you got but with Haley. Haley got think voted out. Point. It doesn't matter who got voted out, we both betrayed each other. What do you mean it doesn't matter what got voted out? We would have never, okay. never gone after you guys had you not gone after Haley. You went after Laura first. Well, actually, I guess simultaneously, technically speaking, but. Leandra and Michael, you guys were giggling at each other. Is this a good thing that you're just not in it at all? Like, you're off to the side? It's just kind of, like, I don't know, entertaining, I guess. Um, <laughs> to, is, is to listen comical. to, you know? Um, but it's, there's definitely a lot of, like, hurt and betrayal and stuff. I'm voting for Forrest. Uh, it just had to be done. Hey Sam, I'm sorry, but um, actually I'm not sorry because you completely betrayed us and I think that you're too crafty and yeah, sorry, you gotta go. Fingers crossed this works out in my favor. I'm terrified, but... Haley says hi. I'll go get the votes. <laughs> I think there's... 
All right, I have the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play one, now would be the time to do so. Not really fancy going home. I hope I'm uh, wasting this. The thing fell off the chain. There you go. There are pieces of it. Thank you. And you're playing this for yourself? For myself. Alright, the rules of Survivor state that if a hidden immunity idol is played, any votes cast against that person will not count. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast against force will not count. I'll read the votes. Once the votes have been read, the decision, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. <laughs> I'll read the votes. First vote. Sam. Second vote. Ellen. Third vote. Forrest. Does not count. One vote Sam, one vote Ellen, three votes left. Fourth vote, Ellen. Fifth vote, Sam. We have two votes Ellen, two votes Sam, one vote left. Sixth vote and the eighth person and the first member of the jury, Ellen. That's enough votes. Bring me your buff. Thank you. Ellen, the tribe has spoken. Walk on down that way. All right, we have one idol played and one drawn member left. This has become a balanced game. Let's see if you guys are right about the merge. You guys are free to go. Next time on Survivor. You guys are right. Drop your buffs. Yes! Yes! We are merging. While some are relieved by the merge, others go on a frantic search. You're desperate. We're so desperate for an idol. <laughs> see anything? Looking around here, trying to find an idol in all these weird trees around here in the garden. And a major divide forms. Are you kidding me? Like, this is going to be a 5 5 situation. We're going to rocks. Hey, so feeling pretty disappointed right now. Um, just got voted out. Um, yeah, I'm sad I trusted Michael and Leandra. So, I guess just going forward, I can just, you know, hope uh, Boris and the rest of the bronze do well. Um, yeah, and, you know, smite the beauties. That's all I gotta say. Um, definitely glad I went through this experience. It was fun for the most part, and I guess now I have more free time on my hands, so that's always good. Anything else I should say? Alright, peace out.